Taking a cigarette break in Beverly Hills just got a whole lot harder. And what the Navy has decided to do to battle synthetic opioids within its ranks. We have all this and more coming up in today's Screening News Update. Last week, we told you that the Beverly Hills City Council had proposed outlawing the sale of nearly all tobacco products in the well-known zip code. The ordinance passed at its second reading and is now set to go into effect in 2021. The new law prohibits the sale of cigarettes, cigars, pipe tobacco, and chewing tobacco, and even electronic cigarettes, but only if they're sold in gas stations, convenience stores, and grocery stores. High-end cigar lounges and hotels are exempt. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan vetoed the state's newly passed Ban the Box bill. The legislation would prohibit any employer with 15 or more employees from asking about an applicant's criminal history before the first interview in person. Lawmakers say the bill would give those with criminal records a better chance at finding employment. But the governor says this would just be an expensive and time-consuming burden for companies that have the right to know who they're hiring. He pointed out this bill would have an even bigger effect on high turnover industries that would require to be filled quickly. Another reason for the veto was the fact that the bill allows jurisdictions to create their own more restrictive laws, which would again burden employers by forcing them to comply with a patchwork of regulations across the state. The bill passed with a veto-proof majority, but an override would have to wait until next year's session. There's no word yet on the General Assembly's plan. The U.S. Navy is adding synthetic opioids to its routine drug test. Effective immediately, all urinalysis samples will be screened for both fentanyl and norfentanyl, its main metabolite. Any service member found to have the drug in their system could face punitive action. The Navy will also report users to the FBI so their names can be included in the National Instant Criminal Background Check System. The Pentagon push for the additional testing can be traced back to the release of a national vital statistics report that showed deaths from synthetic opioids rising dramatically. And that's all for today. Be sure to join us every week for more news and be sure to check out ebiinc.com for more screening information. I'm Jennifer Gladstone. See you next time.